Salutations, love from love, go from both, and peace from peace, our living Prince of Peace. So it's story time. It's all about love, 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 and more love. So I got my my good friends, Mickey and Minnie. Everybody's all excited. Yay! So pull up a seat, share this video, like it, hopefully, maybe, because <laughs> it's exalting love. And we all need love, right, guys? So, I uh, hope you enjoy, and uh, if you'd like a uh, transcript of this reading, just uh, email me, armageddon.owsley at gmail.com, and I uh, hope this edifies and blesses people at Christmas time. I got on my nice hat with my, uh, what do you call it, uh, that's my halo, I haven't earned my w wings yet, but I'm working on it, yeah. but I'm a Red Wings guy because I'm from Detroit. If you're from Detroit, you gotta be a Red Wings guy. Well, truth is, I don't watch much hockey because uh, uh, I'm too busy praising God. And that's a good thing. So, shalom, blessings, love from love, hope from hope. And he is our living peace, who now has sent his kingdom and his new covenant to all people. Just watch the last uh, 15 minutes of my video called The Prophetic Word of Joel Osteen. I give my rock star. Uh, performance with my hair down. This is called The Dove's Flaming Chariot. And by the way, people, the original Elijah, from my understanding of all prophecy, was very likely that he went up in a chariot of fire, as Ezekiel uh, foretold. Rings around rings. Read Ezekiel. Reserve your judgment. Not that it matters, but it's just one of those trivial uh, kind of things that really... O oh, people of the Torah, execute no judgment over God's praises herein, and render no bad opinions about uh, my heartfelt words of the Lord's highest exaltation, for he is love. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love, so that whosoever would believe in love should not perish, but have everlasting love and everlasting life. Thus saith the Lord. And he, he wrote that for all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. And he sent his latter-day kingdom age new covenant of Jeremiah 31, verse 33 to 35 to be given in this hour. And he says to all people, I shall return my terrifying anger, stop the path, rising great tribulation if you will let your love arise. Be as little children, be born again. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. And it's time to also realize that it's impossible for anyone to lift up the Lord's most ho holy, lofty names if the seeds of his purest love aren't the foundation of such a holy language of his worship. And in this hour, the flames of heaven are roaring and the thunder of his displeasure is shaking the earth silly. And this is the hour of the trial of the uh, all flesh. Uh, Revelation 3 that has manifested and he sends a word of patience to keep us from the hour of temptation not to change so the thunder of his might desires to become the thunder of love in your hearts if you can receive his word through this messenger of Malachi 3 1 the covenant messenger and that is what that verse has always foretold and it is only his word alone that prepares his own way because with no addition to man. So prepare for a downpour of my love, says the Spirit. O oh, children of my deepest devotion, it's time to buckle up, declares his prophet, his messenger. Jeremiah was the prophet, I'm just a messenger. Uh, Daniel of Windsor, one from the great north, Isaiah 41 whose uh, influence will be upon all the leaders of the world as mortar is upon bricks as foretold. And it's the influence of the kingdom age, the, 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 the word of love to be received in this hour. The culmination of all the prophets is here if people will heed the words of my mouth. Because the words in my mouth were placed there 
by the Lord because I didn't believe a lot of the stuff that I believed. He had to convince me of this, convince me of that. And some of it was through open-eyed visions and dreams and miracles, writing by lights that were never plugged in for 15 minutes, or seven minutes, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. And one thing's for sure, our giver of holy rain has opened up heaven's windows wide so that he can pour out his very best blessings in these end days as uh, his mystery of Revelation 10 is over because the first is last, the last is first, and the seventh trump sounded first, and all nations are now the Lord's. It was all secret, and it's the days of the sower of seeds overtaking the reaper. That is a, a fulfilled manifestation now with my coming. The hiddenness of the mystery of God and the, the mystery of his love that Jew and Gentile have always been exactly alike. That's heavy. And our giver of holy rain has opened that window way. He's jacked, he's got a jack knife in there. And he's jacked it way open so that a flood of love can be poured over all flesh, as the prophet uh, Joel foretold. And now the just can behold billowy smoke trails, uh, which were left behind the, um, the unquenchable fires and the spirit of Elijah's chariot, which ha has now descended all aflame with passion. That chariot comes on the heels of angelic visitation that I have also experienced in my life. And it's time for the Lord's messenger to come forth in the spirit of Elijah. I am the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who arises to embrace my destiny, Daniel 12, 13 says so. And it shall cause the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, so that the wise may shine as the sun. So I now cry, repent from a wilderness that's filled with terrorism. And as the Messiah's forerunner, my inspired videos and my writings all point exclusively to that divine mediator of the kingdom age covenant so that the Lord's people may finally be ready for him as love. And this gospel of the dove and the message of these videos was created on a, on a platform of obscurity which ma uh, shall make it seem like some blazing fires of a great inferno have suddenly appeared over the most stubborn black mass of people's darkest, gross darkness. But now the veil of heaven's temple have, has been lifted. It's, it's, it's ripped right, and uh, we can never go back to that. And the Lord therefore sends his chosen, the exciting news of Zion's incoming light of the ages, their holy Messiah, our love of love, our majesty of majesty, hero of heroes, icon of icon. It is he whose radiant appearance shall even shock the courageous souls of the house of Jacob. Such heaven sent brilliant sparkles as diamonds glistens as ice crystals, and it's most bedazzling to behold. You should see his halo. You think mine is bright? This is like black and white compared to the shine rays of love coming through his palms. And it, it, he shines, his love shines with the brightly reflected rays of love and peace which bounces off of Jehovah Nisi's banner of love that has always been hanging over all mankind. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be at the end. And the unity of, of man that Christ prayed for in, uh, in the book of John 10, 16, that is the one world religion that I spearhead as its leader. I am the father of Chrislam. Isaiah 62, 2 foretold this. A new name has been given to Israel. For the new covenant written correctly to Israel and all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27, is their kingdom age new covenant. And Israel is now called Chrislam, according to the word of God. And Muhammad said that in the end, his people would be called by another name in the Hadith that sounds like Islam. And that it would happened because of a book coming that proves God's mercy. 
And that book is nothing that I've written. It's Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah 31, the kingdom age, new covenant. And he cannot ever judge any of us or else he would be a liar because he says, I forgive your iniquity and I will remember it no more. So Satan has been fired to the pit for him for 1,000 years. That's a lot of these. Lots. Lots. If you believe the word of God, Daniel 12, Michael has shanghai that guy and he's out of there. He's fired because he can never be the accuser of the brethren again. God is never going to hear it again. So let the wise stop holding their breaths as they behold that, ble that beaming resplendence of Yahweh's son of love because uh, such rises, arises over the blackness of all embraced ignorance which shall destroy multitudes. Lack of knowledge destroys people. But once we understand that he's totally loved, this world can finally be healed. Isaiah 60, the sun of righteousness is arising and the gross darkness shall be now shattered. And let all prudent, wise souls now look unto the Lord's following word of love while his most glorious glory swiftly covers every believer or not. Uh, that dares to stand upon the awesome Shekinah clouds of his loosened appreciation for all those of love that was never withheld from any. The religion of man got in, twisted everything, and made a world full of people running around looking for demons under all rocks. Only such a miraculous presence of life shines forth the most fervent, Inferno of his far reaching passion, which has in these last days supernaturally gone aflame from man to man, from nation to nation, and from continent to continent. The Messiah is ready to come at a moment's notice from the Lord once the kingdom age new covenant of his love becomes understood by the masses because he is kept in reserve in heaven and cannot come back, according to Acts 3.21, to Pe according to Peter's prophecy, unless the restoration of his word comes. This is it. And it will bring the restoration of all things, the great restoration. So let the just understand something. Hebrews, uh, no, rather, Habakkuk 2, first uh, verse to sixth verse, says that, uh, yea, though I am transgressed by wine, and the just shall live by my faith. And my soul might not be upright. I uh, live in Windsor, Ontario, legal uh, Amsterdam of the north now. Uh, I smoke a bit because of pain, medical. But uh, so let the just understand that of the unquenchable fires of the Lord's everlasting love, there's absolutely no end. It goes on and on. For he sends forth gush, gushing rivers of his strongest passions, hottest fires into the hearts of all of his followers of truth, which only burns brightly for that almighty one alone and for all uh, benevolence and charity that he would give unto mankind with his love leading the way through our hearts of flame for him and for each other. For if we cannot love our brother who we can see, we cannot love a God who we cannot. This it must all become intellectual and our love must be freed out of the boxes that we've placed our love in. We've separated ourselves from our brothers and sisters all across this world and their subtle uh, racism and are, are thinking, oh, they know the truth, they're stupid. It's time to smash all that back to hell from whence it came. Such, therefore, is the life story of all those who have been caught up miraculously within the Lord's most marvelous winds of many beautiful marvels of his love aflame. So let the elect stand now evermore humble. For the Lord has sent a fool forth to confound the wise. And I have been a fool. I should have been dead so many times in my life, actually. But the Lord's hand has always been upon me. And it's time that the Lord wants his refiner's fire to flow from heaven as the snap, crackle, pop of love overtakes the hearts and as the sower overtakes the reaper. For all that I read is the everlasting gospel of 
Revelation 14. And he has put his sickle into the world. It is time to put away the butter knives. The retired sword of the spirit is retired. It's time for the sickle. The harvest draws nigh and love is the answer. And the weed and the terror shall not grow together. The, the, the wheat comes with me and the rest will stay in this God-forsaken world of love with their old archaic religion. And the, the escapists of the world will hate the news that this is the rapture moment. Those, one will be left and one will be taken. One's heart will instantly be adjoined with the Lord's message of the kingdom age coming on a cloud. This is the manifestation of Matthew 24, Jesus on a cloud. There are no horses there. He's not coming back. This is his word coming into the world. And the acknowledgement that the kingdom of God is with them. Love. And one thing for sure, his, his, what he sends now through this ministry, his purest gold is always tested by the hottest fire, which are the same fires that couldn't consume Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Let us all be consumed. Let our hearts be consumed with his, the might of his love and the softness of his peace and his blissful serenity. May, may we be blessed always. Merry, Merry Christmas 2020. Get your halo hat. Be, wear a nice hat now. She might sound nice. I try to be. I'm really good when I'm sleeping. Yeah. Bye.